Welcome back to the Lois Banks Ministry. I'm, I'm your host, Nurse Lois. I just got off of work. It is a little after 7 uh, p.m. Uh, my day uh, started really early. Um, I was actually on my computer at 6 a.m. this morning. Um, I got off my computer around 7.15 a.m. and then took my uh, sports car uh, for servicing. And uh, while I was um, at the dealership, I noticed that, you know, some people had their mask on and some people did not. So, of course, you know, whenever I feel like I'm going to be around um, people, I always come prepared to protect myself. So, um, I'm going to continue to send these warnings out um, to the world that you basically have to take care of yourself and protect yourself so i just want to make sure i shared that with you and then um when i came back home um i was actually shuttled back home through the dealership um because i don't live that far like five minutes away um i had a very interesting uh conversation with two other customers who were in the shuttle uh vehicle and um, I was able to share uh, valuable health information with them. Very excited about that. And then um, after that, I went back in the house, got back on the computer, let my uh, leader know that I, you know, I made it back home and that I would make up, you know, the time that I was away, uh, you know, from my computer, which I did. And... Um, during a break, I noticed um, a news article by uh, written by the Washington Times. And um, the article dealt with the increases of uh, deaths related to the you-know-what in the arm. And so the things that I have been warning you about are coming to light in the newspaper they're being exposed which is a part of the prayer um that i've been asking god to expose what's really going on because so many people um have been deceived in that area so unfortunately what uh people reaped with those uh you know what in the arm they have sold so you know, I've been telling um, all of my viewers that people reach out to me with that, you know what, an arm injury. And I've been telling them what to do to cleanse of their body from that toxic poison that is basically sending people out of here, okay? They're just leaving here way before the time. So I just wanted to make you aware of that. Uh, look for um the uh washington times uh they said it was it posted like 21 hours ago so take a look um at that um today is march the 21st 2022 so 21 hours ago that particular article from the washington times posted so um i can honestly tell you that people are they're not feeling well after the you know what some people um are more in tune with their body than others so um just lead people to my um uh, youtube page if they want to reverse the curse that they allowed inside their body so um, i just wanted to make sure i shared that uh with you and um, I want to say thank you for your prayers. Uh, your prayers are powerful. Um, I told you I've been working on this crazy, crazy, long, stressful uh, project. I have to get so many medical record reviews in by a certain time. And, you know, I've just been working a lot of long hours to accomplish that goal. And you know the Holy Spirit always gives me... Um, the breakdown of the plan of how to get to the finish line and your prayers brought in some additional help 
uh, where the you know spirit of God directed me today. While I'm on my computer, listen to the Old New Testament the whole time to strengthen my body, to relieve any kind of stress on the neck and shoulders. Because you know when you're sitting up at the computer for 11 and 12 or 10 hours, that's a long time sitting up looking at something on the computer, doing a work, trying to reach a goal. So, you know, uh, I just obey the Spirit of God. I like to listen to the Word of God anyway while I'm working. But, you know, uh, I have been basically listening to a lot of praise music here uh, recently. But the Lord put in my heart to get back to listening to the Old New Testament while I was working. And guess what? As soon as I did that and put in the Word and power of God, all that stress that I would feel on my shoulders and my neck from sitting up at that computer for a long period of time, it completely went away. I don't even feel it uh, in my body. And I know that God's word is supernatural. It's healing. Um, and I, I shared an analogy uh, this morning in, on my community uh, post where, remember uh, Popeye the Sailor Man? Remember how he would like open up uh, a can of spinach and he would eat the spinach and he would get instant strength and he would just, you know, whoop on Bruto. And uh, that's how it is with the word of God. When you downpour the old New Testament in your spirit and you stay connected to it like 24-7, which is what I normally do because I like to sleep with God's word. I like to wake up in, in, God, in the presence of God's word and just stay filled up with the power in the word of God. You flow into a whole nother realm, like a supernatural realm in strength and power uh, in God. So I just wanted to tell you thank you because I, I can feel your prayers. I can really feel your prayers. I just want to say thank you for that because... Um, I, I like to win. I don't like to lose. And I don't care how difficult a project is. Or I don't care how difficult something is in life. I'm always looking to God to give me a plan. And uh, when he gives me a plan, I just do what he tells me to do and not come out the winner. So uh, this is Lois Banks coming to you from the Lois Banks ministry. I just want to say thank you. And to let everybody know that um, I talked about it in a couple of weeks, it'll be my birthday, but I don't want any gifts or, or anything like that. Uh, God has blessed me. All my desires are, are met and taken care of, and God is taking care of all my needs. So I'm, I'm not, you know, needing anything. So uh, just I just seek your your prayers. You know, just keep me and my family covered in prayer. Because, you know, anytime I get out here and I'm teaching people how to overcome, how to defeat darkness, how not to die before their time, and how to just win in life, you know I have to go through some battles. And um, But I'm always the winner um, because I do everything that God tells me to do. But this is Lois Banks coming to you from the Lois Banks Ministry. Have a uh, blessed week, blessed evening and stay safe. God bless you.